everybody, this is Peter with Tackle the Wild. I am, uh, I'm out here looking for some plants to forage, uh, particularly autumn olive berries. Uh, I'm on an old abandoned road here off the highway. Uh, it's pretty remarkable to see how grown in this is. This was all paved highway 20 years ago and now it's almost all woods again. Um, here is an autumn olive tree and uh, I'm looking for berries red berries that are growing on it this one is barren uh, usually if there are berries they're it's usually loaded with berries and there's nothing here so I'm gonna keep on walking and see if I can find some of the next one this time of year the blackberries and raspberries are almost completely gone by you have an empty patch of blackberries or ra uh, raspberries I guess these are um, I can see one little raspberry over there in the middle of the patch but the majority of these are completely gone by so there's nothing left this is kind of cool i found a crab apple tree that's got tons of crab apples on it let's see how these little things taste they're pretty tart they don't taste very good but if you cook them, I bet you could uh, render some of the, the astringency out of it. Maybe add a little honey or sugar and make it applesauce. But <clears throat> those, are, those are inedible by themselves. It's like floor cleaner. This is kind of cool. Um, it's a big old apple tree. I don't see any apples on it, but that is a huge wasp nest. I'm, uh, I'm not far from that last wasp's nest. And then there's another one right here. I found some red berries and I thought I found some autumn olive. And upon closer inspection, this is actually nightshade. Not what I was looking for. It's not the, the deadly nightshade from Europe. And it's not the black nightshade that they eat. This is, I don't know, it's a red berry. It smells pretty unpleasant. Definitely wouldn't want to eat it. Not my autumn olives, which are supposed to be everywhere. Uh, they're highly invasive, so I'm going to keep on looking. I found some more of this, um, this nightshade. And uh, I just looked it up. And it's, uh, it's a, a bittersweet or a woody nightshade. Or a wooded nightshade. Okay, I finally found some autumn olives that are... Uh, on the tree. I don't know why uh, seasonally some trees uh, have lots of autumn olives and some don't, but this this tree is loaded with them. A shrub, I guess I should call it. This shrub is loaded. So I have this um, handy dandy berry picker you use for blueberries and you can use it for autumn olives as well. There's a quite a few right there. So I'm just going to do that a few more times and uh, fill this bucket up with uh, berries. All right, now that I'm home, I have my bucket of berries. I'm going to uh, put them in some water, float the leaves, and uh, get them rinsed off a little bit before I heat them up on the stove top.
puree and I'm going to add some sugar to this to sweeten it up. I'm not going to do a lot, probably um, be like five tablespoons. trays of fruit leather and five trays of fruit roll-ups. All right, I've peeled, uh, peeled two off and that's what they look like peeled off. I learned a huge lesson. Uh, this is parchment paper and you can see it's coming off the parchment paper. Fairly easy, you just gotta go slow and it won't tear. Uh, work the edges a little bit. Um, it comes off in one, one big sheet. If you get the edges started first, it goes pretty easy. So there's a, a whole sheet of fruit leather right there. Um, and the lesson I learned is, this is parchment paper. The first part of this video, I use wax paper. Here is the wax paper, and this does not come off at all. Um, so the little trick I learned is you put water on this side of the wax paper side, you lay it on a clean table, wax paper side down, and let it set for about 10 minutes. And then you can work this off. You can work this off. It comes off okay, not very good. And then uh, you'll have to put it back on your rack. And put it back in the dehydrator for like another hour or two just to make sure that it, there's no drops of water on there to start a mold. But that's the uh, finished product. It's nice and clean. You see the little chunks of fruit all mixed in there. Um, I just... There, just throw that right in the oven. Here's some that has been in the oven for a while. It, that was much thicker, um, so it's not drying as quickly. And I didn't get it pureed quite as well, but these seeds are all sterilized now and fit for the chickens to eat. All right, I've completed dehydrating all of the fruit leather and the fruit roll-ups. And as you can see, uh, we have uh, I got a bag here for that's unsweetened fruit, fruit roll-ups, and I have a whole pile here that I need to roll up into tubes. There's about eight sheets there, and I have uh, like eight or nine sheets here, four, and seven sheets there. I'm gonna give this a little taste. Mm. It's tart, but good. And then I'll just uh, roll that right up. And then I'm going to stick that in a bag and uh, store it. I might put them in the freezer just to make sure they last. And I have uh, fruit roll-ups for, for the whole winter. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun.